Perhaps it's the fear of the unknown and the solace of an answer. Maybe it's just curiosity. From the very beginning, though, our Dr. Frankie George has often been asked how the coronavirus actually kills people. Today, he joins us to answer that question. Frank? I'm going to purposely keep this explanation fairly basic. Also, please understand, in the vast majority of people, the illness does not progress to the end stage that I'm going to describe here. So let's start from the beginning. The virus attaches to the cells that cover your mucosa. That's the lining of your eyes, nose, mouth, and throat, these pink areas back here. Now, once the virus gets into those cells, it sets up shop and it hijacks them to make more virus, which then spreads to other adjacent cells. Now, this is just the way all viruses work. And other coronaviruses, like the ones that produce the common cold, they stop up here in your nose or throat. And that's why all you might feel is a runny nose or a sore throat with them. In fact, in many people, even with COVID-19, this is where the story ends. Your body successfully defends itself, and all you have is a mild illness. Now, unfortunately, SARS-CoV-2, the COVID-19 virus, is different than other coronaviruses. In at least 20% of people, it has a tendency to move lower in your respiratory tract, into your trachea, bronchi, and lungs. And that's where the problems start. If it doesn't make it deep into your lungs, but just causes irritation, then you get the dry cough that many people have described. The illness stops there in many people. But if the virus does make it further down into your lungs, it hijacks and it kills cells there to reproduce. Now all this time, your body is fighting back, but that fight causes a lot of damage and inflammation, causing pneumonia and worse, even acute respiratory distress syndrome or ARDS. That's where the lungs stiffen and fill with fluid. Now, pneumonia, infection related to the lung damage, is what causes people to feel a worse cough or even shortness of breath because the lung damage basically prevents your lungs from absorbing oxygen properly. Now, pneumonia and ARDS ultimately lead to respiratory failure, and that's when people would need a breathing tube and a ventilator because that allows us to breathe for you with higher concentrations of oxygen and extra pressure to overcome the stiffening and the fluid buildup in the lungs. Now, people can die simply when we cannot overcome the lung damage, even with a ventilator. So what about some of the other symptoms, like fever or body aches? Well, they actually come from your own body as your immune system is fighting and releasing special proteins called cytokines. Now, in some cases, the level of the cytokines can go high enough that they cause collateral damage in other organs. The heart, in particular, is heavily involved in the fight, and early signs of heart damage are also associated with a much worse outcome. The bottom line is, lung injury is the main cause of death, but that lung injury is significantly worse because of the inflammation that is caused by our own body fighting the virus. Now, one final note that a lot of people have asked about are some of the more unusual symptoms, like anosmia, loss of smell, or dysgeusia, a change in taste. They're likely because the virus is affecting the nerves that carry those senses. The olfactory nerve, for example, for smell is right here. That's pretty close to ground zero for the infection. And of course, the tongue is obviously right in the nearby area as well. So I hope this gives an overview. Obviously, damage to other organs can also cause death and complicate things. But respiratory failure is number one. Back to you. That is a splendid view of how it all works. I do Great appreciate it because you just keep hearing little t tidbits yeah. and you hear all, everyone's symptoms and you try to piece it together. That was very, I appreciate that. Great breakdown. we got to put that Absolutely. online so people can share that. It is incredible how much we've learned now about this virus, though, in a short time, and we keep learning uh, even more. All right. More coming up from...